What is going on everyone? Platinum Bees coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very, very special coin in my gold stack. As you can see, I've got the gold Platinum Bees sticker out. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, everyone, so super cool coin that I want to show for y'all that I picked up in my stacking adventure previous to starting back YouTube. So I haven't showcased this coin on my channel yet, but I did visit my vault, if you will, that is off site from where I live and picked it out so I could show y'all. So without further ado, here we have it. And that is a genuine back to the future two gold coin. Now this is an incredibly epic piece. One, because I love all the Back to the Future movies. It's just one of my absolute favorites, if not my favorite uh, movie trilogy. I mean, it's just epic, very, very cool. And the fact that I was able to pick this up and find this is amazing. So I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about how I got a hold of this after I showcase it a little for y'all as best I can. As you can see, it's got a ridged edge. And this coin comes from the NIUE Mint. Now, I've never been able to say that correctly. Is it Nui? Is it New Way? Is it Niu? I have no idea. Leave a comment down below if you know how it's supposed to be said. But NIUE Mint made this coin. It has a face value of $250 and Queen Elizabeth II on it. It is dated 2021. However, I did not buy it in 2021. Believe it or not, I was able to find this coin at a local coin shop close to where I live. Now what's interesting about that is they were selling this for the same price as all of their other just random government bullion. So a gold eagle costs the same as this, a gold maple costs the same as this, a gold whatever costs the same as this. Now what's interesting is when I showed up to the dealer, all that I could see was the queen. It was sitting in the case like this, and I was like, hmm, there's an eagle, there's an eagle, there's an eagle, there's a maple, and then there's a coin with the queen on it. So I said, hey, can I see that coin with the queen on it? And he said, sure. So he took it out, he showed it to me, he flipped it over, and I could not believe my eyes, y'all. I could not believe it. This is such an incredible find. It's just, it blows me away. And the reason for that is, this has a limited mintage of 100 coins. Now for some of y'all, y'all might be saying, well, you gotta find the perfect buyer to buy something like that or who wants that. Otherwise, it is just gold. And you're right, it is. I mean, when you get into something unique as this, the mintage number of 100 is more to save the mints back a lot of times rather than to make it exclusive or rare or whatever, right? How many people are gonna buy Back to the Future 2 coin? I don't know. Let's just make it 100, right? So the fact that this coin was minted only 100 times, only 100 of these exist, and I got it for the same price as an eagle that was minted probably thousands and thousands of times, the same exact coin, is pretty, pretty cool. Now, will that entail a higher premium when I go to sell? Well, I don't know. I'd probably have to find the perfect buyer, and it would probably have to be over some time and things like that, but I probably could secure a buyer. I also... Don't quote me on this, but I also think that I might be able to convince a dealer, an online dealer, such as Atmex or whoever. I'd probably go to Atmex since they deal in these kind of like specialty things so often. But I could probably go to a dealer like Atmex and say, hey, I've got this coin. It's only limited mintage to 100. I, I get that y'all need to make a profit, but if you want to buy this coin from me, you need to make me an offer that I can't refuse, if you will. <laughs> um, and maybe Atmex might be interested. They might say, well, we haven't had that come across our desk for a while, and we've had some people calling and asking about it or emailing about it, blah, blah, blah. So, or, or click the button, notify me, you know. They get enough of those clicks and someone offers a coin, they might just buy it and put an exorbitant premium on it because they know somebody's gonna pay it. Who knows, right? Regardless, I personally just picked it up because I love Back to the Future, and that is something that is special to me. So it's a very unique coin and a very cool coin. 
I've never had something licensed as far as gold is, is concerned. Y'all know I used to stack the licensed silver stuff pretty heavily, but I got rid of all that long, long ago. And I told myself I'm not going to go back down that road. However, obviously this was a deal that was too good to be true. The same price as your standard Eagle. So I'm going to get this. And when that happens, that's what I'm going to do. When I'm able to find something that is much more unique than your generic standard stuff, I'm going to pick up the good stuff, right? And I assume y'all would too. So with all that being said, leave a comment down below. Have you ever found something just out of this world awesome at your local coin shop or perhaps even online? I know online dealers or whatever sometimes list stuff for way lower than what it's worth on the collectability side. Pretty much at the same premium as the generic stuff. So you pick up the cool stuff because, hey, it's cool, right? So let me know that down below. Have you ever found something just super, super cool that costs the same as the generic stuff you were looking to pick up anyways and so you got it? I'd love to hear your stories and your comments down below. And with all that being said, that's all I have for y'all today. I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with my future videos. With all that being said, till next time, we'll see y'all.